So I just got permission to peek through the cart and gonna grab a few things. Alrighty, well today we are sitting outside of the West Patrick Street Goodwill in Frederick, Maryland. And uh, we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So hopefully we walk in on those fresh carts and just snatch up all the goodies, but we'll see. Here we go. I do not see any fresh carts today, but it doesn't mean we won't find anything on the shelves. So I'm starting with the vases. Usually you just start with vases or figurines, but today the figurine shelf is occupied. So we are going to start with the vases. That looks contemporary. I see a Bristol glass vase over there that I'm gonna get to. That might be the one that's been hanging out here a while that's all worn and yucky. Hmm. All right, not much here in the vases. This is the one that wants to be Port Marion, right? Made in Portugal. Yeah, and this one's actually missing a lid. That one over there has a lid, but it's massive. Yeah, let's go this way. I want to get over to the figurines. This one. Are they supposed to go like that? I don't know. <laughs> let's go this way. Here is a bell. Gold Bowl, 1978. That was a good year. Alright. Joy. Oh, this is cute. The little thing is broken, though. Yep, that's the same Bristol vase that's been hanging out. Hey, look. Oh, that's chipped. I wonder if that was here the last time when I missed it. It's possible that was hanging out in the mugs the last time I was here, and I walked right by it because I didn't take a good, close enough look at the mugs. That's cute. I like the colors on that. But it's really uh, thin ceramic and easily chips. There's some chipping on the edges. Hand blown glass vase. A little sloppy though. Alright. Oh, this is fancy. Brown drip. $8.49. It's got a chip on him. Hey, you're cute. $5.49. I think that's Holland Mold, right? Somebody made that. They did a good job though, they painted it all black. You can't really go wrong if you just paint the up. Oh, broken neck. <laughs> My hands up to the broken neck. All right, okay. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty glaze on that. Iridescent glaze. Um, what was I reaching for? Oh, I was actually reaching for this. I thought this was really cute. It's a mother and baby duck, but the wing is broken and glued back on. Lots of broken stuff today, it seems. I'm gonna try to avoid the broken stuff. Be a little bit selective and then watch the next thing I pick up is going to be something broken. Here's a, this is funny, here's another etched bottle. Remember we found those etched milk bottles? This seems like another one, another like etched project. This one's made in India. It's funny, like everything's showing up etched. It's like somebody got like a etcher thing and then just started etching all these bottles. This is a pretty color. I like that yellow. Of course it's Opal House. I have a thing for Opal House. I love Opal House. Down here, that thing is weird looking. $6.49. It's marked A-V-E, it looks like. It's definitely art pottery. Kind of different. Really pretty. Kingswood, China, occupied Japan. Look at that covered uh, dish, that's gorgeous. Wow. It's painted milk glass, probably late 19, or I'm sorry, late 1800s, early 1900s. It's only a dollar, I'll grab that. Take a look at this, because it almost looks like it had a teak foot on it, but I don't think it's that special, so I'm gonna stick it back. And a little rose medallion with a giant crack. Darn it, <laughs> I'm so excited. I was staring at this shelf and it just came into focus right there and I was like, oh, never mind, we're cracked. I was missing the saucer anyway. I don't know, maybe I'll find the saucer over, uh, over in the saucers. All right, I am browsing back through the figurines, making sure that I didn't miss anything. I did go through here kind of quickly. We've got an oyster shell for $2.50. All right. 
So I just got permission to peek through the cart. I'm gonna grab a few things and we'll check out the other cart. Looks like there's some goodies over there as well. Oh, I like that. We will snatch that vase. That's so what you can try now, but I like the orange color. We'll grab that. Take a peek on this cart, see what's here. Some neat pottery pieces, it looks like. Art pottery in there, that's kind of neat. <laughs> the camo. All right, I don't really see much though. It's made in Holland Delft. Am I in your way? There's a tumble up. Looks to be in good condition. Clear glass. Handle is in good condition. What is that? Baker's local. That's so fun and vintage. $249. Fun mushroom artwork in there. Looks like Diane painted that. $449. I think that's it for me though. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Got a few things in my cart and I'm gonna head on down to the next Goodwill. Got a few things here. Wish I would have gotten more, but there just wasn't a whole lot on the shelves. Just glad they finally rolled out those new carts. We got a few things. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. The whole set is $19.50. Let's tip it over and see the marking, but first, isn't that pretty? Looks like it's probably made in Mexico. $14.50. Gotta keep an eye on the prices. That's a neat looking pepper grinder. You guys know I'm kind of weirded out by pepper grinders though. It's a long story. The most recent uh, redone mark. It's not the old one, but I like that one. So I think I'm gonna pick it up anyway. There are some canisters. This one says treasures. Keep all your treasures in that one. Ray done by Magenta. All right, let's go around the corner. Oh my goodness, aren't these the sweetest? $6.50 each. The mouse's crown. I'll pay that. Maybe if I can get them in my cart, one-handed. <laughs> All right. It's a lot of candles right there. These are all folded um, glass. Glass pitcher. What's the price on that? $6.49. Hognail pitcher. That's not bad for a hognail pitcher. A load of a mat. Two dollars. That's blown glass. Let's see how smooth the bottom is on that. Only 99 cents. I'll take that too. I was noticing this. Four dollars and 49 cents. I probably sell that in my booth. I just sold a bunch of melt glass in my booth looking vase. It has a bunch of fish on it. <laughs> Etched fish. Those are cool. What else do we see? Not really a whole lot over on this side. Oh my gosh, look at that thing with the, the mom on the... <laughs> I always make fun of pieces like this. Not that this because it reminds me of the way I put my hands on my hips when I'm upset with the kids. This is Sylvester Mouth Blown Glass. You'll notice there's a giant chip on the back of it, so I think that's for us. This is super cute. <laughs> Rubens Originals 149. I usually don't pick up baby planters, but this one's exceptionally cute. With the duck and the elephant. I think I might make an exception for that one. Interesting. $14.49. Pause cubs. <laughs> the inside is actually the colored part. The exterior is usually with cased glass, it's the reverse. Um, I need a place to set this down though, because I want to look at the one behind it. I 
guess I'll just hold it. Let's look at this one. No markings on that. It's kind of a pretty pattern. Like a blue luster and there is crazing on it. So I feel like that hints that maybe it's age. Let's see what we can find over here. I've had luck in the clear glass recently with a Swarovski and a Lalique figurine. So I have to really look hard and not dismiss anything. <laughs> has kind of a quality to it. This is nice, but it is um, signed. This is William Sonoma on it. Maybe it's not that nice. Three forty nine. <laughs> These remind me of those uh, plates that, if you remember, <laughs> the last time I filmed at Tommy's shop, Tommy went and he went back to uh, where I had purchased. Where I, had, where I had missed a green plate with this Tierra pattern. I don't know, $3.50 each. All right. I don't know. More of them, clear ones for about 49 each. That's a whole lot of Tierra pattern. I don't know. What is that? Ooh la la, look at that form. Hello you, come here. Global, of course your global views. Go back to where you came from. Robert Lee Morris. All right. I'm not seeing anything. This way. And if I'm in your way, just tell me. All right. And I'll me. Those are neat bookends. I'll go grab those. Two forty-nine on a carnival glass. Let's see this over here. They're old. Yeah, those are. Cool. I was born in 58 and I think they're a little bit earlier than that. Those are so neat. We'll have to grab those. Those are so much fun. Oh, $6.49. Yeah, I'll grab all those. Cute. Stick those in here. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna go check out. Wait, what is that? That's neat. Is what that is. <laughs> oh, with the TV light. I think. Missing the TV light. That's kind of neat. I saw I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I thought maybe it was a Jim Beam decanter. It's not. It actually has a little bit of age to it. But it's a dish. You can throw your change in it. I'll pick that up as well. Wow, we're having pretty good luck today. That's neat. It's like there's so much to see that I, I feel like I'm still missing stuff. But I feel like we did pretty good there. There's a carrot cookie jar. How much do they have on that? $9.49. I wonder how much that one's worth. I'm just going to stick that in here real quick and look it up. I looked up the clear glass cookie jar. One sold for $13. Uh, and then I looked up the little green dishes. It looks like a set of 12 sold for $11. So I think I'm going to throw those back as well. Um, this is Worth Point that I'm looking at now. It's a paid subscription that I use. What is this? Oh, that's adorable. That is an egg cup. $4.49. A double egg cup. I think I'll pick that up. That's so cute.
wish there was two of them. Do we see a matchy match? No matchy matches. All right, I'll stick that in here. Um, so I'm gonna put all the tiara glass back. And we'll just pick up the other stuff. That's not, that's not really my thing. I'm trying to branch out, you know, and I should just do my thing. What is this one? It's Bavaria. Lots of crafting supplies. Obviously somebody's drinking problem. What is this? That's a weird, oh, that's a hummingbird feeder. That's what that is. With Mary. Mary and a hummingbird feeder. Cute cow collection. I look a bear. Is that a bear? I don't know. I passed this one up as well. <laughs> I finally turned it over and I'm like, oh, okay. That one's really cute too. I also just put back all the tiara stuff so you can tell that's missing from my cart now. But my that's all broken off. Alright, I think I'm about ready to get out of here. I just want to take one last look at the vases. There's a lot, and the shelves are deep, so I was afraid maybe I might have missed something, but I think I got to it. I think I've seen it. I didn't, I, this thing is 10 bucks. I mean, there's probably a little bit of money to be made there. It's a beautiful piece of Italian pottery. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Looking at my cart, like, we've got a lot of stuff in there. We'll take it. Get in there with the rest of it. Carefully. I turned around, I'm ready to leave, and I saw these. <laughs> Stack of four Polish pottery bowls. There's also plates down there. I don't see any dinner plates, though. I just see the bowls. Tell if that's discoloration or if they're supposed to be like that. I'm assuming that's intentional because the bottom doesn't have it. And those are worth at least eight to twelve bucks a piece. But do we see any dinner plates? Maybe. Are they here? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm buying a set. I'm buying a whole set of Polish pottery right now. It's kind of a no-brainer. I can't not buy that. But also, I'm wondering if I'm missing any because it's not really a set. There's only four small plates. There's like eight big plates and four bowls. But I don't see any more. all of it. I'm not seeing anything else. Well, our total spend there was $149. And I feel like we did all right. I felt like, you know, we picked up a few things. We put a few things back. We made a few decisions. And there at the end, we scooped up the <laughs> Polish pottery, which I know can do really well, especially at the price that we paid, which was a dollar something for the bowls and $2.50 each for the plates. I know they're worth more than that. Now those are buy it now pieces that I'll probably sit on my shelf and will sit there until they sell and I will do a quantity. So that means they'll sell one off. So I'm not going to sell the whole set because you should have felt how heavy that box was. It was really heavy and I'd be afraid that they would break if I was to sell it all as a set. Um, so yeah, I think we did all right. Also those, those cartoon things, super cool. I'm gonna have to figure out what those are and they were in such good shape for being as old as they were. And I think that's why I was like, these are so cool. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.